All right, going on to my another another video. I'm gonna go ahead and well, if I, I guess I'll just go straight to the game center and click on that. But yeah, we're doing another Lord of Nights. Now this is the one I originally wanted to build a city within like a month, and it didn't work out. So I make sure it's not raining out there. No, nope, just sounds of thunder. Now, if it would load, there we go. So, I have a few cities I've built up over the past few years of playing, and I managed to get. But I'm going to talk about troop development and missions and everything, and just people new to the game want to eventually get to their first city, you know? It takes a long time to build a city, and it's running super slow right now. I do not know why. It's just, I mean, it's connected to good Wi-Fi. It's just going super slow. But anyways, so this is my green capital. And this is my main city. It is fully maxed out. As you can see, no upgrades available to do. Just troops. The only thing I can really do with this city is develop troops, which is what I'm doing to try to take another city. And I also have what's called the Silver Merchant. Now, once you develop several castles and you're into the game, you can go down here to the Exchange Silver Merchant and then Silver Merchant, and you can actually hire, make sure all your castles are selected, and you can actually hire a Silver Merchant for about 300 gold, a very small price to pay. What that Silver Merchant will do is each day at the selected time, I have it selected for 4 p.m., is it will exchange silver in all those castles for you know for the price of the gold and it lasts a week so you can extend that for as long as you need to like i usually do probably i usually put it about a month ahead you see most of my castles have pretty pretty good amounts of things and then you will go you also unlock mass functions like recruit units you know which is which is what i'll do here and i'm going to go to swordman I'm going to recruit units, but before I do that, before you recruit units, you want to upgrade buildings. That is going to be the first thing you do when you log in every day, is you're going to select which buildings you want to upgrade, like stone storage, upgrade that, you know, and this will help. Because if you just recruit troops, you're not building points, you're just recruiting for building points. Now in times of war... In times of war, that does change. You want to recruit your troops first, but for just casual building, you know, no one, you're at war with no one, I would definitely recommend that you upgrade your buildings first. And I'm going to spend a little bit of gold. I wouldn't recommend spending gold on, like, I'm definitely not spending 300 gold on upgrading that. I was thinking maybe the keep, you know. 21 gold, that's a little better. Of course, it's only five buildings. I would have got 30 with the other, other one, but still, you know. But you definitely want to upgrade your buildings first because that's how you build cities. That's how you get cities faster is by maxing out your castles, building them into forts. You need 25 total castles to build or five forts. 25 castles or five forts to build one city. And then I'll go to Fortress, and just, I, usually what I do is I just select the highest number. Like, whatever the highest number, see that one was 30, and it's 21, I'll go ahead and upgrade it twice. And then with my cities, I really like to, I really like to go into the cities, and, like, go down to the bottom of my cities, and I like to do them manually, because they are very important, like, you know... They are very important. Like, I don't need... So, barracks will be what I upgrade, you know, instead of... You know, so it's very important to get your barracks up as quickly as possible. Remember, this is a war game. And the barracks are the heart of your troops. You know, I would say... I would say it goes ore production... Barracks... Keep, then other things like, you know, taverns and... 
universities, which, of course, university kind of goes hand in hand with upgrading the barracks and stuff because you need to upgrade the university to get to the barracks to a certain level. And now that I've done all that, I will go into... I will go into... Well, man, I lost my thought. I will go into and recruit units after I've done everything I need to do, and it's going super slow, but it's fine. It's an internet-based game, so sometimes it's a little slower than other games, but to me, Lords and Knights is like a dream come true. It's like everything I've ever wanted in a mobile game, and you know, but let's see, uh, recruit not recall units recruit units so i'm gonna recruit some swordmen because they are by far you know they are by far the stars of the show when it comes to conquest they have good stats for everything but archers you know they're weak to archers naturally but they're also strong against horses and they're really good against their own kind infantry they do well against spearmen and horses. And horses are really deadly, deadly, you know. They are deadly creatures. So you definitely want to have something that's strong. And of course it's going to take a minute to load because it's loading all of that at once. And you unlock mass functions, I think, after five castles. Or it might be... I think you unlock some after five and a little more after eight. And you fully unlock it at 25, you can do everything I'm showing you here. So really early on into the game. And here in a minute I'll show you my points. And you know what what my current level is. You know, and I have a lot to do because I haven't logged in in a while. But And see, set limitations. You can set limitations. See, in my fortresses I don't want to have any more than 9,000 swordman so i set the limitations to where i can have and then i'll recruit forty thousand. you know naturally and like for castles i really don't set limitations because when they get into fortresses you'll have plenty of room to expand and grow but on your but on fortresses and cities i like to set limitations i don't think i have a limitation for my swordman and cities but I'll find out here in a minute when this gets to unload. Which I'm connected to really good Wi-Fi. And it's just going slow now because of the storm. We're having storms. So and it's starting to rain. So after I get done with this video, I'm going to go ahead and... There we go. Yeah, see, I don't have a limitation on my city. But, you know, for cities, I would probably recommend about 40,000. Because, you know, they can have up to 250,000 troops and just everything. So, I've pretty much done everything. Now that I've done everything I need to do, which you'll need to do this yourself once a day. Because, remember, the silver merchant only comes once a day. But, exchange silver. And, as long as you have ox carts in your... As long as you have ox carts, it'll automatically... And then, of course, I'll get silver, and that takes all my resources and sends them off for silver. And I mean all. So, you know, if I go up to the top where the main thing is, you see, other than the other than the forts that were full. See, those are full, so I obviously can't change out any more resources than them. But, you know, most of them, you know, if you notice, most of them will be empty. You know, going down through there. And I haven't changed the name of those castles. But let's go ahead and look at my points. I haven't looked at that in a minute. Uh, boom. I'm not sure how to get back from here. Oh, yeah. Nope. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'll still post it. It's just people texting me while I'm in the middle of making a dang video. It's like, don't you know I'm busy? I guess I... 
But I know you can get out of here from there. Oh, you have to select the castle. And then it'll take you out. So, yeah. But anyways, that's my points. That 131,000 points. I have 57 castles, 53 fortresses, and 3 cities. And that's my current rare... That's my current rare rarity, you know. Exchange office is only level 2, but everything else is good. But anyways, I hope y'all have a great night and enjoy yourselves.